Hello everybody, this will be a quick video on when to take profits and when to kind of close a trade out and kind of when to let it ride. If you guys learn something new from this video, please like the video and subscribe. Anyways, just going to the Bitcoin chart on Bybit right here. I'd say the major things that I like to do, especially when scalping. And when I say scalping, I mean taking trades based off of divergences on the six minute and down. I'd say that's more of a scalp trade whenever I get divergences of when price is at a level I want it to be. And I see a divergence on the six minute and down. And so what I usually like to do is lock in profits at a 0.5% move. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Um, let's say that price did come up here to a golden pocket. Let me turn off my magnet tool. And I had my stop loss, right, or whatever. I'll zoom in a little bit more. And let's say we did get a divergence on the six minute. This would be a bearish divergence. And so we enter the trade right here as price was rejecting off of that golden pocket, set my stop loss above the next support. So in this case, it was the 786. And I set my take profit um, where I plan on closing out the whole trade. And so I would probably set my take profit around this point of control. So it, it'd be a good support level. And so what I like to do is that once my trade is in profit and it has a 0.5% profit, I usually like to take out, well, this can be subjective, but usually I like to take out 25 to 50% of the position and then move my stop loss to my entry. Therefore, it allows me to have a winning trade and I won't lose any more money from the trade. And if I do end up getting stopped out, I won't lose any more money based off of those market ordered values that the stop loss does. And so I'll, I'll still make a little bit of profit too. And so what I'm doing here is allowing myself to be in a winning position and not lose any more money. In my opinion, I think when it comes to trading, not losing money is the best bet because I'd rather not lose money and then lose it all or make a lot of money and then lose it all. I, I think that's like the toughest thing a trader could go through, but this will just allow you to provide a more safe option and it'll allow you to keep most of your trading capital with this. Now, when I am looking for day trades, I'd say I define day trades as looking at the 12 minute time frame towards the one hour time frame. I mean, still it can be subjective there, but <clears throat> Here, I guess, is a example would be, say I get a, this was a previous thing that I did see. Hold on, bear with me, bear with me. Let's say we did have price come down towards this golden pocket right here. So right here, this would have been a long entry and we were getting bullish divergences on the 12 minute time frame, as indicated right here. Hold on. Right here. And then we had, yeah, price making lower lows. So this would have been a day trade for me. And so I would have entered a long position. Oop, let me enter a long position right here. I would have put my stop loss at the next support level. And so this would have been just below the 786 as indicated. And say I wanted to set my take profit. I'd say a good way to close the entry 
or take out most of my entry in this case. This might be a little bit different for day trades, but um, I take out most of my position at around this golden pocket right here. And so anyways, with a day trade position, the 12 minute to one hour, I'd like to lock in profits when I get a 0.7% move. And so what I mean by this is that if my trade goes in profit for 0.7%, so let me measure that out for you. Um, up here, I will move my stop loss to my entry and then I will take out probably 40 to 50% of my trade. And then I'll let the rest ride until my major set of take profit. So here, it'd be the golden pocket here. And then I would take out 50% of that more trade or 25% of the original position. So in all, I'd have like 25% of the position that I got into when I first got into the trade. I would uh, leave that open and literally I'd, I'd let it ride for a while until, until you get an insane amount and you start seeing um, kind of things hitting itself. It, this is something that's kind of more subjective, I guess, but uh, it's something you'll learn. But really, I like to let my day trades ride um, up until they're in like 6% in profit or like 60% if I'm using uh, 10x leverage. So that is just an example of what I like to do. Now for swing trades, um, this is kind of a different ideal. So with swing trades, I do like to use a larger stop loss when doing this. And when I say to swing trades, again, the one hour to four hour in a way, but it's mainly like the two hour to four hour that I tend to look for swing trades in. And so I'm just gonna name an example. I didn't really take this trade, but I guess if I would have entered right here as a long position, I would have had a larger stop loss than a day trade or a scalp trade. So about right here, a 2.15% stop loss, pretty good for a swing trade. And so remember with a larger position or a larger stop loss, you want to have a lower position size since you are risking more in this trade. And so I would have set my total take profit or total um, target price at the next major resistance, which would have been probably this 382. Don't quote me on that, but I'm just providing this as an example. And so I would have set my major take profit at this 0.32. And so with this trade now, I like to lock in profits at a 2% move. And so when my trade goes in profit at really around here, I like to move my stop loss to my entry. Maybe I'll take out 25% of the trade and then I'll take out like another good chunk once my total goal for take profit gets hit. And then I'll literally just leave 25% of the original trade open like for a long time. Like I'm talking like weeks. 
Um, this allows me to provide it as a hedge in case I tend to lose more trades. I'll still have this position open, earning me like a kind of a passive income in a way. And so this is um, really a swing trade. So it's a long-term trade really. So anyways, I hope that helped answer you guys' questions. Um, I will leave a link in the description to a Discord where I post all my trades along with Market Cipher, the indicator that I use. And thanks. Bye.